I'm here with Noor Abustaid, who is the co-founder of Berta Style. Uh, speak very loudly because we're in a noisy place. All right. What is Berta Style? Berta Style is a DIY fashion platform. It's an online sewing resource. You can download sewing patterns on PDF, print them at home or in a copy shop. Um, there is knowledge that's being exchanged among the community. So um, it's an open source concept where you share content, um, skills, and you can use our product, uh, professionally produced patterns that have no copyright. You can um, sew them, and if you want to sell them, you can base your business upon it. And at the same time, you meet people that are like-minded and that share a passion for creating, designing, and making. So sewing pattern website that is coming from Berta, which is a company who has a media company in Germany that has its roots in sewing patterns being sold in post-World War II exactly. Europe. It's actually, um, we're um, rejuvenating a brand that was uh, mainly print. It was founded in the 40s, 50s by the mother of Hubert Burda, who's the owner of Hubert Burda Media. And um, this print magazine used to be one of the biggest fashion magazines with sewing patterns, 5 million worldwide, 90 countries, 16 languages. It's actually still the case until today. That, okay, yeah. and <clears throat> r lately you faced an issue. You have a community website and you faced a community revolution? <laughs> Well, I wouldn't say a revolution, it's more an uproar. Okay. Um, we, um, we call Berta Style, it's an open source sewing website. Um, and we offered a lot of patterns for free for um, the past two years. And now we started charging on the majority of them. Uh, and people were upset with it. Um, we um, explained that... So why um, were they upset? What were they saying? They didn't want to pay and they said that open source uh, means for free. We say it's not free beer. Uh, that's not my quote, I'm quoting. And um, it means that um, you can use it as a basic, you can develop it further, you can um, use the design, there's no copyright, you can sew and sell. The community, it takes education for the community. Um, there were a few members, but are very outspoken, very active, so they seem to dominate the site. And there were um, several days where we spent hours and hours on responding to comments and writing articles and explaining why we did that, you know, saying this if this community wants to uh, be sustainable, at a certain point we have to make money. And there's different approaches that we take. There's advertising, there's partnerships, and there's also pattern charging. And we also want to enable our community to make money with the patterns. So it's not just about us, it's also about the community. So these outspoken people gave us uh, quite a few busy, few busy days and nights. Yeah, and nights. And uh, a week later, I mean, literally, it was a week later, the silent majority woke up and it was, it was a relief and it was, it was really something that made me so happy because all these people said, hey, this community is not about paying two, three, four, five dollars for a pattern that you need maybe every few weeks because you don't, you know, you don't need a pattern to, to be part of this community. And they said, it's a lovely community. We're exchanging all these knowledge and the skills and, and we get inspiration from other people. They upload what they've sewn and they show pictures of their garments. And so now these, these people came and they, and they spoke. Um, however, there is a learning to that too, and well, we you're a social you're a social media f s website service yeah. that faced a social media uproar. Yes, and um, I think the learning is that we um, didn't communicate it uh, before we implemented. And we did that because we felt if we communicate, there's going to be mass download. And, you know, so is that okay? You know, is the site going to be stable? And you know, what are we going to do? And and but we know that it's the most important to. And that's what we did with everything: with new designs, with you know, deciding on which designs we use. We use community designs. You always have to work with them very closely, and you say always ahead of time, you know, what you're planning to do. And we've this done is the this. one occasion where you said we can't do this ahead of time because there'll be defection or they'll take everything. Yeah, we were just yeah, we we chose the abrupt way and um, in retrospect was that the right way or the only way or the wrong way um, I th 
I think it was the okay way because <laughs> there's no a, good way. There's a happy end. There's no good way. Um, however, I think that um, if you plan to charge for your product, you should um, probably do it more gradually, quicker. I mean, we've done it like every few weeks. We charge for something, but I think that you explain your regularity somewhere. You know how you like. You know maybe you charge every month, then every two weeks, then every, yeah, so. Different ways to do it, a different, different form of implementation could yeah. have been done. Yeah, but you always, I mean, the most important thing is always stay in communication and stay close, and people that you've dealt with a lot and that know you, they support you in the end, too, in your difficult times and your decisions, so. And w how many visitors do you have? How quickly is it growing? Um, we have 300,000 uniques per month. We have 160,000 active registered users, about 5 million page views per month, and we grow by 10% approximately. That's Excellent. our numbers. And what are the expenses that you have with doing this? You know, you're just putting up designs, aren't you? What is the expense associated with that? Actually, the, the highest cost is producing the pattern, and we um, use the competence of Berda in Offenburg in Germany that uh, produce the highest quality of um, sewing patterns worldwide, so it fits your body, you can change it, and producing that on, on a cut and having a, a pattern maker, a professional that's done this for years and um, doing the photo shoots, that's very high expenses, so we have to think of a revenue model, model that uh, considers that. So what, what are the revenue models? Um, there's different um, approaches or possibilities, and we have classical advertising, uh, banner advertising. Um, we have we offer partnerships. You can sponsor contests. You can sponsor PDF patterns. We have about um, 100,000 downloads per month. So you have 20 to 30 pieces of paper that people print out at home, and they can find their logo on top of it. And um, people work with that. Um, we will uh, implement affiliate marketing. So you can buy your fabric, your notions, like thread and needles with it. And um, we're charging for some of the patterns. So this is how we generate money. And then we will see what is working the best. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so. well, good luck with it. Thank you.